the mm-hmm. lockdown really changed how our industry worked. I took my business and started doing more virtual online content because that's where it was going and that's where the skills were needed. Richard Forte presents. Ready, Kev? Ready. Ready, Darren? I'm ready. Okay. Richard Forte presents number four. It's off and running. Thanks for joining us today. I'm really excited to talk to two up and coming digital media artists. Let's call them that because they do a whole lot of things and you're going to learn more about them. The first one we're going to talk to is this young man here called Darren Summersby. Darren, thanks for being on Richard Forte. Present. Thank you for having me here. I'm excited to be on this side this time. Well, that's just it. Let's give them the truth here. You've been editing this. You've been making it happen behind the scenes. The Richard, the new Richard Forte show, presents yeah. uh, look. So thanks for joining the team. Oh no, no, I'm excited. It's been fun, kind of developing the show with you and and kind of creating this concept to kind of share other artists and creators out there. So I'm excited to be a part of it. Exactly what we're trying to do is share with other artists and connect with everybody. So why don't we tell people about what you're doing and where you come from. Tell me exactly how you ended up right here in the chair doing editing, video production. Like, what's your journey? You went to Sheridan. Yeah, so it kind of started off. I was always someone that grew up doing theater. I was never really in the digital media. You know, started off acting when I was seven, really involved in the local art scene, you know, doing dream coats, summer challenge toros. And then I just started getting into acting in front of the camera. And from there, I was like, wow, all this is really cool. Like you walk onto a film set and there's just this different energy. And I really like that. And, you know, when I was acting on film, I kind of wanted to stay behind when I was done my scenes and and watch how everything happens. And from there, when I got into high school, I went to Woodfield Secondary School and they had a really great media arts program there. And I just really got involved with that and started taking as many arts courses as I could there and really found my passion for the media arts, especially in film and television. And then I decided you know, to go to Sheridan College and study at their Bachelor of Film and Television program. Throughout that whole four year course, my mind was kind of shifting the whole time of what I wanted to do. I went in being a producer, then I wanted to be an editor, you know, cinematographer, director. And I thought, why not just do it all? You know, come out here. And I think that's the great thing with the industry right now is you can kind of do all that in your own way and that's what I'm trying to do. Right, so you've been doing stuff in the industry too, right? You were working with Northern Ontario Film Studios, I believe. Yeah. 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 Tell me a little bit about your experience like in the fields. Yeah, it was great. I did my co-op on some Hallmark films, you know, Hallmark loves North Bay. So I was able to to get my foot in the door with them and, and do that. And it was just a very different perspective to see it in that way and the way the industry works there compared to you know what we're doing here and more marketing aspect of things so it's really cool i've really gotten an experience of of everything to kind of see what it's all like so that really helped me decide where i want to take things so where do you want to take things i think at this moment i just want to explore and and see where things are going with society like the Mm -hmm. lockdown really changed how our industry worked I took my business and started doing more virtual online content because that's where it was going and that's where the skills were needed I had people messaging me saying you know I want to do these virtual zoom performances and I was like I don't know how to do that but I needed to learn how to do it because this industry is always evolving that you need to learn yeah. what's coming up that's what they teach us in school eh? you got to innovate yeah and innovate means doing things that haven't been done before mm-hmm. so you're open to doing that oh yeah I think that's the big thing about me is I'm driven to want to try new things and understand that there may be some failures along the way but that's how you learn with it right so if somebody out there is watching and you want to do uh, projects with Darren Summersby where do you like what is it that, that you think you can most help with I think right now with me, I'm someone that is very open to want to try new creative things. You know, the Coral Society reached out to me and they said, hey, Darren, we want to do this virtual concert. I said, "Okay, let me do some research. Let's do some tests. And almost a year later, I've done over a dozen videos for them. So I think my biggest thing is I'm wanting to explore with people and try new things creatively. That's awesome. And do you want to do more of that type of online virtual uh, experience? 
I think right now, especially more with musical theater, because mm -hmm. um, that industry has really been impacted right now. You know, theater has been kind of pushed to the side and it's been hard for them to reopen. And I think the biggest thing for them is to try and do virtual theater. I did a, a show with a local high school, uh, did a virtual production with them. That was a lot of fun. So I'm really hoping, you know, if it's not on that big of a level, but smaller, more intimate virtual settings, I think that would be really cool. Yeah. What's neat about your skill set is also you can apply it to different levels of organization. Mm -hmm. So if somebody just wanted your help to help with their brand, like a headshot, mm -hmm. I know you've done you've done this kind of thing too, where you're willing to like experiment and help people develop their brands. Yeah, exactly. You know, I think that's a big thing right now is headshots are so much more than what they used to be. Everyone wants professional portraits for you know, their occupation, you know, actors always looking for it. LinkedIn, you know, people always need professional pictures for that. So I'm always willing to experiment. You've decided to come back home. Mm -hmm. When did, how did that all happen? So, you know what? I have to thank the pandemic for that. <laughs> My goal was to stay in Toronto in the GTA area and, you know, kind of grow from there. But I graduated right when the pandemic started. I had to come back home. And I think that was probably the best thing that happened for me. Because if I stayed in Toronto right now, I would be struggling. There wouldn't be a lot of work for me because there's so many people like me in Toronto wanting work. Mm -hmm. So coming home, I think that really helped me and I was able to sit down and kind of rediscover who I am as a creator. And I really pushed my business, you know, focusing on the virtual aspect of things. And I was able to work on some films in the fall and realize that there is a lot here and people need to see that. And, you know, come here, There's, we're always looking for work. And then I found you and I thought, you know, this might be a great opportunity for me to collaborate in that way. Definitely, and I'm really excited we've decided to do that. Yeah. So again, thanks a lot for being on board. Thanks for helping me develop this show, oh, which yeah. I'm presents. Darren's been editing it, putting it together, helping me uh, find exactly what it is that I'm looking for. So again, thanks for your help on that. And get in touch with Darren, because uh, I think that if we can keep nice, smart, young guys like him in town. We're just gonna be a better artistic community for it. Uh, so don't be shy to reach out and say hi to Darren. Hi, Darren. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Awesome.